This video will show you a method to identify common short sequence patterns in genomic regions of protein DNA interaction and define a transcription factor binding site matrix out of them. For de novo binding site definition from genomic regions with lengths of several hundred base pairs, which is the size you typically get from ChIPSEC or chip on chip experiments, you need core search. You find this program in the pattern analysis section. The input sequences can be between 80 and 3000 base pairs long and the common motifs can be at any position and on either strand in the different sequences. I'm going to use a file with 1000 sequences from a ChIPSEC experiment. These sequences represent regions that bind the transcription factor STAT1 in interferon gamma-treated HeLa cells. We can run this example with default parameters. The program will try to find a common core motif of seven base pairs in at least 75% of the sequences, searching both strands. After extending the sequences from the cores on both sides, a matrix will be generated from the alignment. On the result page, you can display a list of all your input sequences and their lengths. As we used more than 250 sequences, Core Search generates the final matrix in two steps. First, it takes five samples of 100 sequences each from the input list and creates one matrix from each sample. You can see the aligned UPACs of these five matrices here. Then it scans all input sequences for matches to these five similar motifs and aligns the best matches from each sequence to generate the final matrix, whose consensus profile you see here. In this example, a motif match was found in 994 of 1000 sequences, and the final matrix was created from 881 of them. The other 113 were not used because they were too different from the consensus and would have lowered the information content of the matrix too far. As it is, the matrix has good conservation and a fairly low random expectation value below one match in 1000 base pairs of random DNA. A cross-check against the MatBase matrix library tells us that a large portion of the sequences used for creating this matrix also have a match for the BCL6 and STAT sites defined there. The final matrix and also the five intermediate ones can be saved so that they are available in the other programs as user-defined matrices. I'm going to put all of them into one common family and save them. After the binding sites are saved, we can access them in the personal matrix library. Here we find links to the new matrix family and also to the single matrices. Follow a link to display more detailed information. Here for the matrix family. In the matrix description, we get the actual nucleotide distribution matrix with its UPEC consensus and the consensus index for each position, which is a measure for its conservation. The consensus index profile is shown as a column graph. And lastly, we see the sequence logo for the matrix. So much for the de novo binding site definition with core search. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn about de novo binding site definition from shorter sequences, for example DNS1 footprinting data, please watch our math defined tutorial.